Yes, Sue? What are we doing today? Helen. Well, <laughs> Sue, yes. today we are going to do gin fusion and it's gin but not gin. What does that mean? It means it's like a gin and tonic but it's alcohol free. So what does that mean? <laughs> I know. <laughs> this, is, this is different for us. This is different. But we thought we'll give it a go because I don't drink in the week. You don't really drink in the week. Not even a glass of wine touches these lips of mine in the week. But at weekends, it's a free for all. And you know, you've had a hard day mm -hmm. grafting. Yes. Doing that typing thing that we all do or talking on the telephone. Sometimes you just need to go home and have a drink. Yes. But, oh no, I've got to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? Maybe you get gin fused. That's gin what you do. Fused. No alcohol, but that gin sensation and taste, which we all love. Gin and tonic in a bag. Gin and tonic in a bag. So you infuse it in tonic water for a couple of minutes. Yay! And it's best served with ice and a slice of lime, which we all know. Ice. Ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. The flavour will develop the longer the bag is left. And, and apparently you can use them over and over again. Gin fused. Hashtag gin, not gin. Gin fused. So we've got this, which is um, a quench cocktail spinner. It's like a cocktail shaker without the shaking. Yeah, so you have to shake it so you don't get any bingo So we're putting that in there. Yeah, we're going to put it in here with some ice and a bit of tonic water. Mm. We're going to we'll do, so it comes like that, and then all you do is Uncook it. Uncook it. What beautiful, sexy friend got you that? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. You don't have to use this. You just put it in a drink. But we're impatient, and we want some now. It's gonna be so good. wrapped up with the string. Is it? We're gonna give it a go. We're gonna put some ice in there. Gotta do it fancy like. If it if it doesn't work, you'll be the first one to know, won't you? Some ice. Or you can just your life. put it in your glass. Infuse it in tonic water for a while. Do you know what? Shove a lime in there as well. Or just be fancy. A bit yeah. of a bit of gin. A bit of tonic. A bit of tonic, I mean. There's no gin, darling. Is that enough? Yeah. yeah, that'll do. And see if this works for the infusion. Oh look, it screws on really well. Let's get it screwed straight. You can you can just take the top off. Oh. Oh, you pour it. It's easier. Oh well, I did not know that. So yeah, you don't have to un you don't have to unscrew it like I did. You can just take the top off and then put that back on. It's got a little pourer as well. And it's got a pourer. Probably you makes wanna, more sense. You wanna do the honors? I'll do the honors. It's your idea. Yeah. Anyway, get my line. Got my eyes. So this one. I do this way. It probably doesn't need to do this. Put my doo for it. Why don't you just take it out and pour it all into your glass? Well, that now I've got string on my. Don't don't do what I did, guys. So we need to leave this to infuse for a little while. The longer you leave it, the better it'll taste. So the ingredients in in these gin fuse bags is. This is a great idea for those mums to be who just want to have that gin and tonic taste, or you know, just in midweek. You know, like I said, you need to drink. People who don't drink alcohol in general, it smells good. Yes. Are we, are we going to go in for the kill? It's been long enough. It's been. Uh, mine's been fizzled around. Mine has actually changed colour, maybe because my I put mine in the spinner for a little bit. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. To gin fused. To gin fused. Gin and tonic. Yeah, it does. Tastes mine. Yeah, it's tastes yours. Tastes like gin and tonic. Yours a bit more so because you've been whooshing it around. Fine. It tastes. You can whoosh it around like this. I'll probably break your glass. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like gin and tonic. <clears throat> it does. Just keep that in there. And it's nice because like I have, I have loads of fruit teas and stuff like that. And would you drink this at work though? I could actually drink this at work, is that, but then again if someone like went to try my glass, oh she's got a bit of tonic water and had some, they think I was an alky. 
Yeah. It won't be, it won't be something I'd have at work. No, I think it'd probably get trouble. This is the type of thing I like to drink because I like to drink lots of fruit teas and match teas and things like that. I am, I am so buying this again. Just keep it in there. Yeah, I am. What a brilliant idea. Really good idea. Impressed. Non alcoholic drink. If you're the driver. No, we've thought about that. If you're going out with yeah. another driver, this is really good. Yeah. Take it to a wedding or something like that. Yeah. As some um, little gifts to have on the um, oh. table. A wedding. Wedding favours. Yeah, wedding favours and things for those. Oh, good idea. For the drivers. Yeah. We thought we'd have a bit of a laugh and do Would You Rather while we're having a gin and tonic. Yes. We'll probably play this again when we're a little bit tipsy one day, I think. I think we should. Because I think this game is hilarious. We need, it. Everyone needs to play this drunk. So we've written down a few just to see how it goes and have a bit of a laugh. Yes. <laughs> so I'll go first. Would you rather smell like poop and not know it? Or. Be constantly smelling of poo, and you're the only one that can smell it. So smell like poop, and not know it. Not know it. Oh, constantly, constantly smell, smell like poop. No one else, else can knows. smell it. So you smell like poo. you can you can I smell smell the poo and smell the poo. Called. Yeah. Or, I prefer me to smell like poop and nobody else know it. Yeah, me too. Because I don't want everybody else to smell my own poop. I know. That's, that's not a hard one. Do you not think? No. They can I get think, hard. I think as, as, as it goes with poop. I want the public to know my poop. Okay, I've got some. Would you rather read minds or know the future? Oh. I think I would rather read minds. <clears throat> Only if you could read a mind when you wanted to. They're not constantly in your head, everyone's minds are. But you could read minds. Yeah, yeah I read minds. Read minds. Definitely. Yeah. You could have bets all the time, couldn't you? Really? Win. Yeah. Well, if you knew the future, it could be a bit sad. But then again, lottery tickets. Oh God, that's another thing. If you knew the future, you'd know what the lottery numbers were, and you'd be rich. Well, you might know when your loved ones die, and you, it's just like. Let's go. Stop crying. <laughs> That's really dark. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, it's true. Yeah, it is the truth. Anyways, right, my go. Give me one, give me one, give me one. Would you rather have taste buds on your butthole or poop through your mouth? Taste buds on my butthole or poop through your mouth? I poo through my mouth. Oh, so either way, I would taste poo. Yeah. Probably taste buds on my butthole. Because I wouldn't want eat. You could eat from there, don't you? I couldn't. I couldn't physically want to see myself. Bomb is my yeah. Bomb is poo anyway, isn't it? Not mouth isn't poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next one. Would you rather be covered in poison ivy or bee stings? Poison ivy. Yeah. 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 But it's just as bad though, isn't it? It is just as bad, but no. I could just see, no, and you'd be fearful of bees forever. And I like yeah. those bees. I like honey. I love honey. Honey and mummy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I have a poison ivy. Yeah, and poison ivy's cool. But. You've never seen bee sting man, do you? No, that's right. It's true. <laughs> you might turn into poison <gasps> ivy. Yeah. Then you'd be cool. Yeah. Bee sting boy. Thing, boy. That's not a superhero. Don't ever <laughs> create it. Would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? I um, more or less say what's on my mind most of the time anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I, if I offend say somebody, it's their fault for being offended. Yeah. That's what I say. I always just say what's on my mind. Yeah, you do. You don't though, do you really? I don't say everything at all. Everything. You know, you're in bed with your husband and he's talking to you and you're writing shopping lists in your head. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't... It would be you, very disappointing yeah. how much I don't listen to him. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, you couldn't always speak your couldn't mind. Speak, if I could because speak sometimes time. you'll see someone and you really like them and then in your head plays weird games with you and it's just really nasty for no reason yeah. apart from your brain is cruel sometimes. Oh, what if you think rude thoughts about a man while you're exactly. walking with your husband? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Check that bad ass out! <laughs> but yeah, 
speak in your mind all the time. Like, yeah. yeah. You can't just say, yeah, I always speak my mind. Because no, no one possibly no, no, can. No, nobody possibly can. Because your mind is cruel. So, I'd probably just do it anyway. I would, I would, yeah. I would, I would, I would speak my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I need a voice. This is getting, this is getting like really far. This is deep. Do you think, should we have some more gin? Let's have some more gin fused. I really like it. Okay, I've got some written down. Would you rather eat poo that tasted like chocolate or eat chocolate that tastes like poo? Well, I'd rather eat poo that tastes like chocolate. Do you have to pick up a poo and eat it? I've had poo coffee, it's made by the animal, eats it and then poops it out and then they make that into the coffee. Yeah, I've had that before. So yeah, I'd rather eat chocolate poo. You'd rather pick up a poo and, and eat, eat it. it. If it. Yeah, rather than eat chocolate that tastes like poo. Yeah. And vom. It's all up the air, but imagine picking up a poo. I don't want it in your mouth. <laughs> no, but if it tastes like chocolate, if it's not like, it doesn't have to be human poo, if they found an animal, that created a poo, chocolate thing, and if it's been like antibacterial and nice, I'd eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that wrong? No, probably. It's, it's your opinion, and it, yeah, to I'd, be honest, I'd eat. Was <laughs> what I'm saying. I would, yeah, I would eat. I would eat poo that like chocolate. <laughs> would you rather look like a fish or smell like a fish? Oh my God, look like a fish. <laughs> I would rather look like a fish. <laughs> I can't handle. What, would you rather smell like a fish? <laughs> but what do you mean, like, would, like ha, have like scales? Look skin? like a fish. Yeah, the whole fish face, scales, and fineness. I think I'd rather look. Face. I think I'd rather look like a fish. Yeah. Yeah, because the smell would make me sick all the yeah, time. Like so I'd, like wake up and like I could handle looking at myself. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> that'd be who you yeah, are. Yeah, that's who I am. That's yeah. me. But if I smelt like one, yeah. I'd be like every time I got up, I'd be like smelling myself and being sick. True. I wouldn't get anything yeah, done. Yeah, I would. I'd look like a fish. You would look like a fish <laughs> as well. <laughs> would you rather have a foot long nose or a foot long tongue? Tongue. Do you have a foot long Blech. tongue? Yeah. Completely. Because uh, you can wrap that bugger up and put it in your mouth, couldn't you really? You might not be able to because it'd be too big, because it'd be well, long. Everyone just thinks I'm like hot or so, wouldn't they? Like a pug. <laughs> oh no, definitely tongue. Could not handle <laughs> the foot long nose. Yeah. Imagine that! I can't imagine that. Imagine the smells you could smell. You would be like a little elephant. I'd be living next to fish woman over here. <laughs> Being sick all the time. Eating poo. Eating, eating chocolate covered poo. <laughs> Would you rather smell like eggs when you burp? So when you burp it smells like eggs. Okay. Or when you trump, a big green cloud appears. I'd probably do the trump thing because I'm really good at holding it in. So what if you if you uh, so could do it in the bathroom? But what if it did, like little tiny bits of cloud came out? If you just a little like, oh, a squeak. Like no, I'm really good. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I just because I could do it on the bathroom and be in my own your own green smog, own green smog, and oh, yeah, I might be able to do like smoke rings and stuff. I might be able to get quite cool at it and get a job. Like so, Mr. Methane. Not, not burp egg. No, I wouldn't burp egg. You'd rather be Mr. Methane. Yeah. Would you rather mm -hmm. fight a dragon or a giant octopus? Oh, but no, I'd rather fight a dragon. Yeah, because giant octopus is real and dragons aren't. That's nice. Only in my head. So if I saw a dragon, wow. Yeah. Game of Thrones styley. Yeah. I'd be Dragon Girl. Yeah. Dragon Girl. Dragon yeah. Girl, always a dragon. Octopus. Yeah, you kill a dragon. Yeah. S dragon Slayer, they've called me. Yeah. Helen the Dragon Slayer. I can see it. <laughs> I can see that. Right, we've got another one. Would you rather be able to fly or breathe underwater? So be able to fly in the sky or breathe underwater? It'd be flying in the sky because we're scared of the sea. So it wouldn't help me, would it? It wouldn't help me, you bloody fish girl on her own. Because, <laughs> yeah, as soon as you step into the ocean, you go, you're going down the food chain anyways. So I, I keep away from that. Thing that but takes do you not think it'd be amazing to actually find out what's in the sea? 
You could like because it scares me too much. So it'd be in the fly. Yeah, fly. I'd, oh, I'd love to fly. I've um, always wanted fly. to fly. I used to have like reoccurring dreams where I could jump. Um, um, yeah. I did. Did you? Yeah. That's weird. I did. Really? You could just jump a little bit and be able to just stay up in the yeah. air. And I yeah. really thought it was real. Yeah. No, I did. That's so strange. Did yeah, you? I really thought it was real. I did and I thought I could do it. It's always like doing like, the crawl. Yeah. Oh my god. We just found something new about each other. No, I did, yeah. No one ever knew it. No. And I always thought in my head that I could actually do that, that I could stay up like ages. I tried a couple of times. Yeah. So, and I thought maybe it's just certain times I can. No, yeah, I did. Whoa. That is like that's really strange. Blown that's a really strange. Because I didn't think it was a dream for ages. I didn't. I, d I believed I could do it. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Zero. I believe I can do doggy <laughs> paddle in the sky. <laughs> it was like that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And everyone's like, wow, look at me. Yeah, how weird is that? Would you rather? Have a head the size of a pea, or a head the size of a beach ball? Beach ball! Yeah? Yeah, totally. Everyone's gonna see me coming. <laughs> you just prefer to have a big head. Yeah, I prefer people don't see my face. Yeah. It's probably what it looks like. A little tiny face and a really big head, just oh, your features yeah. are small. Just features stay where they are. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like you when you were a child. <laughs> Go on then, one more off okay. you. Okay. Would you rather eat your way out of a situation or fight your way out of a situation? Eat. <laughs> like that was a hard one. Uh, like what, what? I don't do fighting. I'm an eater, not yeah. a fighter. That's right. Yeah, I'd eat my way out. I, I think I've eaten my way out of many situations. So, so you talk about like Hansel and Gretel. <clears throat> eat the way out that gingerbread house, man. Yeah. That's so true. Like, why didn't they just eat the way out if it was edible? Eat it. Did they? Eat? I can't even remember if they did. They should have done. That was some dark story that was, Hansel and Grail. But anyway, guys, it's been lovely um, mm. drinking this gin fusion. It's called gin fused. Hashtag gin not gin. So well, what we'll do is we'll link uh, when you, where you can buy it from mm. if you're interested. Mm. And uh, hope you enjoy our video. Lovely. It's really and nice to have. You can drink and drive. Mm. Remember, we upload every Friday. So get those eyes peeled for more of this action. Yeah. 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 See you guys again next week. What's this, what's this mean? What's this mean? What's this mean? Ah! Yeah. Yeah.